We're looking forward to next week's race. One young gun strapping up for the big race is 13-year-old Gray Galding. He met Kevin Harvick when he was just eight years old, and that friendship turned into a development deal with Kevin Harvick Incorporated. Now, both Delana and Kevin were struck by Gray's maturity and talent. I caught up with the closer and the young class act at KHI. What do you remember about the first time you met Kevin? Uh, well, the first time I met Kevin, like he said, I was uh, at Martinsville on Pitt Road. Uh, I think I was a uh, real little guy. Uh, he was real tall. I think he actually won at Martinsville. He won the Bush race, and uh, I was actually in victory lane with him and uh, grabbed my head, messed up my hair like he always does. But uh, he's just a great guy. I just got to thank him and Delana for giving me this huge opportunity to drive for them. I um, mean, love coming to the shop. Just a great environment for me and my family. Kevin, tell me about the schedule that you have Gray at right now. Well, our biggest goal this year was to, to get him some time in the late model, but obviously with his background in, in the Legends cars and, and the Mandaleros and everything that he came up through, uh, it's fun to see him go back and, and race the, the Legends car on, on the weekends when he has the opportunity outside of the late models. But uh, Legends is a great training ground for a lot of these young guys to come up and, and really kind of hone their driving skills. And I know that you had a scary moment at Gresham Park not long ago running the super late model. Tell us about running into the wall at over 100 miles an hour. We had a really good hot rod, you know, uh, pretty disappointed, but the butterflies in the carburetor, one actually broke and the other one hung wide open. So as soon as I got on the brake, the rear tires were still digging to the wall, but, you know, it's just a racing incident. and uh, hurt. Oh, it, it hurt. Uh, it, it shook me up a little bit, but I was just worried about getting in the backup car and getting ready. Scariest moment in a race car for you? Yes, ma'am. Being small doesn't help. Oh, I know, oh, I know, right? That helps a lot. <laughs> Keeps it nice and compact in there. Oh, yeah. Gray seems like he's 13 going on 30. Yeah, when I hear him talk, sometimes I have to really make sure I sit up straight in my chair and, and do all the things that I need to do to make sure make sure I'm doing everything right. What's it like to hear a superstar like Kevin Harvick say that about you? Oh, I think it's great. I mean, he's just a great friend and, so, and such a great mentor. You know, I learn from him, especially watching on TV, watching him race, and uh, especially at his go-kart track. Uh, just don't get in my way there. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. He'll, uh, he'll put the bumper to me. Yeah, so I, I learned that kind of thing, too. If you're going to win the race, what do you got to do? You, to finish first, you first must finish. That's right. 10, 15 years down the road, he's 23, 25 years old. Do you envision Gray Galding in a cup car for KHI? As you see his career progress, I don't think that there's any other expectations other than to, to see him drive. Whether it's a KHI in a cup car, I can't tell you that because we don't even have a cup car right now. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that, that have to take place, but hopefully that, that would be the ultimate goal. So, you know, when he's in his early 20s to see him in a cup car. I just don't know if it'll be here. Do your friends think this is all pretty cool? Oh, yeah. I mean, going to school and saying, you know, uh, I'm Kevin Harvard's driver. I mean, I don't brag about it. You know, I just keep it under. I mean, well, I know me and him have such a great relationship, and I want to keep it that way. And I want my career to be, you know, like somebody, like a NASCAR driver, where he started with somebody, he ended somebody with, with KHI. And that's that's what I want if, in my career, and uh, I hope that happens. We lay low and let the results speak for themselves, right? Yes, sir. That's right. We let it all play out. No bragging. If you're in the area, you should head out to Charlotte Motor Speedway Tuesday night to check out all the talent, young and old, going after the $25,000 payday for the winner in the Legends Big Money 100. Our crew will be out there as well. So tune in September 18th at 1 p.m. to watch all the action only 